High school education in WA is set for a major shake-up. A new pathway towards graduation is being rolled out to give students more options when it comes to their future. Year 11 and 12 can be stressful, but starting next year, a new pathway to graduation will give students more options. None of the requirements about um, the standards have changed. You still have to do all of the things that you had to do before. It's just one additional third pathway. Currently, Year 11 and 12s wanting to go to university study subjects that give them an Australian Tertiary Admission Rank, or ATAR. Those who don't want to go to uni choose Vocational Education and Training Courses, or VET. The new general course fits somewhere in between. There are 50 subjects, including maths, accounting and finance, biology and drama. And while it won't mean direct entry to uni, general graduates can still apply. The changes won't require extra teaching teachers or new classrooms. Some students are not being challenged academically enough through the certificate too. This means that they will. There are 55,000 Year 11 and 12 students across WA. The current split between those choosing vocational learning and those who choose ATAR subjects is about 50-50. The teachers union has welcomed the third pathway. Some are very focused and they could be focused on entering a trade, an apprenticeship, or they could be focused on going to university. But for the majority of our students, and their parents, there's a great deal of uncertainty. So what we're trying to do is provide pathways and options. It keeps their options open. They can still choose an alternate pathway into university uh, or they can choose vocational training at TAFE. Year 11s can select the general course next year, Year 12s the year after. More information can be found on the Education Department's website. Michael Genovese, Nine News.